How's it going guys, it's Root Junkie here, and if you were one of the few that were able to unlock the bootloader on your Motorola Droid Ultra, this device right here you see in front of you, then I'm going to show you guys how to install this, Saijin Mod, Saijin Mod 11 that is, on your Droid Ultra. Super excited about this, um, it's very very nice, and I'm going to show you basically the functionality and how it functions and how you get it up and running properly. All right, so it's a little tricky because there's almost zero ROM development on this device. So just really quick so I can show it to you, Saijin Mod Nightly Ghost. Yes, Ghost, not Obake. So Ghost is the code name for the Moto X first gen. Why am I running a Moto X ROM on the Ultra? Well, like I said, there's very little development on this device, and sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But it is functional. So very, very cool, and I'm going to show you guys how to get this working. Like I said, this is the Droid Ultra but uh, we're running a Droid, or I should say a Moto X ROM. So to do this, you're gonna need to have a couple things. Let's go into our file browser and show you what we're working with here. So we're gonna go to internal, downloads. So right there is CM Nightly right there. Right there is the um, gaps for KitKat, so Google applications for KitKat. And then right above it, that is the key to getting this ROM functioning. That is the Droid CM11 patch uh, version 0.8 zip. And that is what makes this function on the Ghost ROM and makes it work on the Droid Ultra. So basically, to get this installed, you're going to have to have custom recovery. You're going to have to have the unlock bootloader like I was telling you about. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually turn on my reboot to recovery feature in this ROM. So to do that, you just go in here to build number. There you go. And then you go to development, advanced reboot. Boom. Now I should be able to reboot into recovery. You can get in there with manually pressing the buttons on the device to, to do that, but um, this is just easier. So we'll go reboot to recovery and there we go so a couple of prerequisites for installing this okay first things first you have to have the unlock bootloader like I said that's gonna be done with sunshine app by J case there you go there's that unlock bootloader warning um, if you have that you're gonna need to um, take and install this Phil's touch recovery easiest thing to do is if you have some other recovery on your device like clockwork mod recovery or team uh, Team Win Recovery Project, then just go ahead and get the flashable zip. That's the easiest way to do it. Flash the zip, and then you'll reboot recovery, and you'll be in this. Phil's Touch Recovery. All right, so from here, we're going to go ahead and get this flashed. So we're going to go into Wipe and Format Options, and we're going to Custom Format Options. Let's actually go back here. Clean to install a new ROM. Actually, let's use that option. So this wipes user, system, data, everything. So we're going to go ahead and do that one. All right. And it's key that you use this recovery system because if you do not use this recovery system, for some reason, this ROM won't work correctly. So, uh, and the patch. So just good note for that. All right. So from here, we're going to go to install uh, zip. Um, install zip from SD card downloads and then we're gonna do the ROM right there so CM11 nightly ghost like I said this is for the Moto X but it is on the Droid Ultra and then hit yes and as soon as this is done installing we're going to move to the Google applications and we'll keep going through all of the things we need to flash to get this functional alright that's done we'll go to again downloads Google applications right there install so these are the Google applications installing right here um, I will go ahead and link you guys to the XCA thread where I've got this uh, patch so that the Droid Ultra will function correctly with the Moto X ROMs you probably can use it on other ROMs than CM but it's you know your mileage may vary so that's done and then we'll do one more here downloads and the patch so right there go ahead and yes and there you go patch is done and you should be done so we'll just keep going back here 
and boot power options. Um, oh, we don't want power, we want reboot options. Oh, right there, so that's right at the top. Reboot system now. So we'll go ahead and do that one. Shabam, and this will boot you up into CM11. So super excited to be able to get CM11 on the Droid Ultra. Like I said, if you have any questions about unlocking the bootloader, about um, getting custom recovery on here, any of that stuff, I will link you guys to my playlist in the video description or rootjunkie.com. You can check out all my videos on the Droid Ultra and get you up to speed on you know, the background stuff you need to get done before you can really install this ROM with the patch that makes it functional for us here on the Droid Ultra. That's going to be it for me, guys. Give this thing a good five minutes to boot up. Once it boots up, go ahead, go through your setup, and you'll be rocking CM11 KitKat on your Droid Ultra. Hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more like it on this device, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.